Mala Bloomquist told me she didn't leave home for a week after the FBI told her she was being targeted by a neo-Nazi group. Two FBI agents were at Mala Bloomquist's front door. They wanted to warn me that I could be a possible target of a hate crime. Bloomquist already had evidence. This threatening poster glued to a window at her home. Your actions have consequences, it said. Our patience has limits. They knew who she was. Her name and address were in the box. It has death images, basically. And then on the bottom, in small print, it says you've been visited by your local Nazis. Bloomquist's job as editor-in-chief of Arizona Jewish Life magazine made her a target. I didn't leave the house for a week. And when I did leave the house, I didn't leave alone. Bloomquist wasn't alone. Federal officials arrested four alleged neo-Nazis in Arizona and three other states on charges of intimidating journalists. And they vowed to accelerate the collapse of civilization using violence, mass murder, hate, and threat. Authorities say all are members of Atomwaffen, a neo-Nazi group preparing for a race war. I just can't, con I can't wrap my head around having so much hate for someone that you don't know because of what they're doing or the, what they believe in. The FBI contacted Bloomquist after investigators tracked 20-year-old suspect Johnny Roman Garza from his hometown of Queen Creek to Bloomquist's Phoenix home. Garza and another person were later seen fleeing the area. But there's one thing the neo-Nazis don't know about Bloomquist. I'm not Jewish, but it doesn't matter who you are. They're just hating to hate. A member of the Arizona Association of Black Journalists was also targeted. A spokesman says the group doesn't know who that person is. In the Alert Center, Bram Resnick, 12 News. All right, Bram, thank you.